So three transgender women attacked in Dallas, including the name Malaysia Booker, you may know, who was murdered last Saturday. Tonight, Dallas police are looking to see if there is a possible connection. Police say that all the victims are African American and all the attacks happened in the last seven months. CBS 11 Steve Pickett live for us over at Dallas Police Headquarters with the latest on the investigation for us. Steve? Doug, we now know the Dallas Police Department will involve themselves in a town hall meeting. This will come on Thursday evening, specifically addressing concerns about crime and safety for the LGBTQ community. That extends to southern Dallas and east Dallas because these cases, including the one where Malaysia Booker was killed, is in that area. And police did say they see some similarity to these cases. Booker's murder came last Saturday, a month after this video of a mob of men violently beating the transgender woman was uploaded to social media sites. But her murder is just one. The Dallas Police Department is aware there have been three investigations into either murders or assaults involving transgender women in Dallas since July 2017. This afternoon, police point to other cases. A black trans woman killed last October. Last month, Another stabbed and left for dead. She survived. And then last week, Booker's murder. At this time, the department is actively looking into whether or not these uh, assaults, murders, have any connection. One tie, according to authorities, the neighborhood east of Fair Park near I-30, the intersection of Spring and Lego. Violence and crime are no strangers to the area, and police say the transgender attacks could be tied to that area. All of the victims are transgender females. Two of the victims were in the area of Spring and Lego prior to the offenses. Through the course of these investigations, it has been determined that two of the victims got into a car with someone and one victim allowed someone into their car. In one of these cases, they've only been able to identify the man pretty generically driving a silver or gray car. And again, this expands to the last seven months. But we should also mention, you heard the police talk about 2017. Back in 2017, they found a victim dead, transgender woman, African-American. However, they don't know how she died. That case remains unsolved and not defined at this point as a homicide or murder. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.